Now for our next presenter. She graduated at the University of Assumption in Pampanga and she completed her requirements of her master's degree at National Teachers College under the MTAP Scholarship Grant. She was also awarded as Metro Band MTAP Exemplary Awardee, Master Teacher 1 at Hulo Integrated School, Patang Manduno. Let us all welcome our teacher reviewer for week 2, Grade 5 Mathematics, Mrs. Janet P. Manuel. Happy New Year everyone! Isang mapagpalang araw po sa inyong lahat, sa aming mga mandunong kids, sa mga home learning partners, at sa aking mga kapwa teachers ng mathematics, lalo-lalo na sa mga math team ng Hulo Integrated School. Welcome muli sa Project SOAR! Series of Online Academic Reviews on Mathematics Clade Learning Module. Ako muli si Teacher Janet, ang inyong mga kasama para sa mga advanced lessons ng Mathematics Grade 5 for Quarter 2, Week 2. Handa na ba kayong makinig mga bata? Tara, simulan na natin ang ating aralin. Welcome again to Project SOAR. Today, we're going to discuss the advanced lessons in mathematics grade 5 for quarter 2, week 2. By yours truly, Mrs. Janet B. Manuel. The topics for our lesson today are comparing and arranging decimal numbers and adding and subtracting decimals through thousands without and with regrouping. Let us start with the first topic. The objective for the first topic is compares and arranges decimal numbers. But before that, let us review the comparing symbols. The first one is greater than. When do we use greater than? Greater than symbol is used when the first given number is larger or greater than the next given number. Example, 9 is greater than 7. Ngayon, para magkaroon kayo ng palatandaan, ano ba talaga ilalagay ko between numbers? Saan ba paharap yung bukas at yung close? So, tandaan lang si Mr. Alligator. Si Mr. Alligator na laging gusto niya, ang kakainin niya ay bigger portion. Kaya dito ay gagamit tayo na yung opening ng mouth niya is nakaharap sa 9. Kasi mas bigger yung 9 kesa sa 7. So, ayan ay greater than. Next, less than. Less than ay ginagamit kapag yung naunang given number ay smaller than the next given number. Example, 10 is less than 15. So, kagaya ng sabi ko kanina, si Mr. Alligator, laging gusto niya Ang kakainin niya ay bigger portion. Kaya dito, para magkaroon kayo ng palatandaan, ayan si Mr. Alligator. Nakaharap siya sa 15. So, yung symbol na yan ay less than. Next symbol is equals. Equals is used when the two values are the same. Example, 8 is equal to 8. Next are ascending order. Ascending order are arranged from least to greatest. So, example, 2, 4, 5, 9, and 12. 
Kung mapapansin ninyo, ang ayos nila mula sa maliit hanggang sa pinakamalaking number. So, yan ay ang ascending order. Mula sa maliit hanggang sa pinakamalaking number. Next, descending order. Descending order arrange from greatest to least. Example, 15, 12, 8, 6, and 3. Kung mapapansin ninyo, nagsimula sa 15 ang ayos, 12, 8, 6, hanggang sa maliit na 3. Pababa ang kanilang ayos. Let us also review the place value and value of each digit. So, here is the place value chart of decimal. So, meron ako dito place value and value. Sa place value, we have tens, ones, then the decimal point, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Ang value ng mga number under ng tens, no? so value ay times ten. So, times ten dyan. So, kung ang number mo dito ay 5, so, times 10, magiging 50 yung value nyan. No? So, dito naman tayo sa 1's. So, ang value ng mga number under ng 1's ay times 1. So, kung number mo dito is 4, no? Ang value nun ay 4. Kasi 4 times 1 is 4. Then, uh, the first digit after ng decimal ay may place value na tens. At ang value ng bawat digit under ng tens ay may value ng times 1 tenth. So, kung ang number mo dito ay 8, So, kung ang number dito ay 8, ang magiging value niya is 8 tenths. Okay? Then, sa hundreds naman, ang mga value ng mga number under ng hundreds ay times sa 100. And then, sa thousands, ang mga value ng mga digits dito ay may value na times sa 1,000. Next. Let us now have an example of our topic. So, Alexiana measures the length of two strings. The blue strings measures 12 and 35 hundred centimeter and the red strings measures 12 and 49 hundred centimeter. Which string is longer? By using a number line, so here is the number line. This number line starts with 12 and 30 hundreds, which is the smaller value, smallest value in the number set. And it ends with 12 and 50 hundreds, which is the biggest number in this number set. 12 and 30 hundreds is located at the left uh, most part of the number line. And 12 and 50 hundreds is located at the rightmost part of the number line. So, in here, we can already see that 12 and 35 hundreds string is up to here. And 12 and 45, uh, 12 and 49 centimeter string is up to here. So, we can visualize here that 12 and 49 hundreds centimeter is greater than 12 and 35 hundreds centimeter blue string. So, 12 and 49 is greater than 12 and 35, 12 and 
12 and 49 hundredths is greater than 12 and 35 hundredths. We can write it in symbol as 12 and 49 hundredths is greater than 12 and 35 hundredths. Or the vice versa. We can also write it as 12 and 35 hundredths is less than 12 and 49 hundredths. Pagpasensya na yung sulat, hindi marunong si teacher. Therefore, the longer string between the two strings is the red string. Kasi siya yung longer. Let's have other examples. Let's start with the first one. Which is greater? Six hundreds, uh, six tenths or 589,000. Let's compare it using the table below. So here is the original number. So the ones which are zeros are aligned. Decimals and then tens are aligned in column. And then hundred and then thousand. Hundreds and thousands. We can add zero to make the number of digits equal. So, ganito ang magiging new number niya, form. So, pareho na sila ngayon ng 33 digits sa decimal places. So, by this, we can now identify which is greater. So, 600,000 is greater than 589,000. So, in symbol, we can write 600,000 is greater than 589,000. Another example, which is greater, 45 and 876,000 or 45 and 869,000? So here, by using place value chart. So, naka-aligned ang mga nasa tens, hundreds, Ah, tens, ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So, sa tens, they have the same digit. Same with ones. And then sa tens, pareho din sila ng eight. Pero sa hundreds, the first given number has seven in the hundreds, and then the second one has six in the hundreds. So, it means the first given number is greater than the second given number. So, in this example, 45 and 876 is greater than 45 and 869,000. So, we can write it in symbol as 45 and 876,000 greater than 45 and 869,000. Next, let's have now an example of ordering decimals. The top five pupils in grade five level in a school are to be ranked to determine who should get the first three orders. Their names are listed below with their corresponding averages. Can you help them rank by writing one to five? The highest will be the first honor. So, here are the list of names and their average. Let us write them in column. So, here is the average of the first student, then second, third, fourth, and fifth. We want to go from highest to lowest. Dahil ang kinukuha natin yung first three honors, yung highest rank. Muna ang hanapin natin. So, 
Let us compare the tens. So, the tens here have the same number. Lahat sila ay 9 of 9. Then, the ones, same, 4. Dito tayo sa tens. Sa tens, meron tayong dalawang 5. Uh -huh. Paano natin malalaman alin sa dalawang given number ang highest? So, since parao sila ng 5 dyan sa tens, mag-move tayo sa kanilang hundreds para ma-break yung kanilang tie. So, yung first number has 6 in the hundreds place. At yung second number ay merong 7 in its hundreds place. So, ibig sabihin, yung last number ang highest. So, and then, ito namang first number ang next higher. So, 94 and 571 is the first in the rank. And 94 and 563,000 is the second in the rank. So, may tatlo na lang tayong i-compare ngayon. So, dun pa rin tayo sa hundreds magko-compare. Meron tayong dalawang 4 sa hundreds. So, same sa ginawa natin dito sa 5. To determine which among these two given number, the second and the fourth number, is greater. So, magpo-proceed tayo ulit sa kanilang hundreds. So, dito sa second number, ang hundreds ay 9. At dito naman, sa fourth number, ang hundreds ay 8. So, 9 is greater than 8. Therefore, ito ang third in the rank, 94 and 498,000. At ito namang isa ang magiging fourth in the rank, 94 and 480,000. So, it means the remaining number has the fifth rank. So, siya yung sa fifth rank. Now, Ito ang mga list ng names ng mga bata. So, sa first rank is Louisa. Sa second rank is John. Sa third rank is Joey. So, sila yung top 3 honors. So, for our answer, Louisa Paris is the first in the rank. John Castro is the second. And Joey Cruz is the third. Let's now practice. Compare the following by using greater than, less than, or equal. 8 and 657 thousands compared to 8 and 675 thousands. Which one or which symbol are we going to put on the blank? Can you guess? Can you guess it right? Correct. That is less than. 8 and 657 is less than 8 and 675 thousands. How about the next one? What symbol are we going to put on the blank? That's right. Greater than 12 and 26 hundreds is greater than 12 and 259 thousands. How about the last one? You got it right. That is equal. 91 and 200 thousands is equal to 91 and 2 tenths. How about arranging decimals? Arrange the following decimals. The first given number is 2 and 5 tenths, 2 and 512 thousands, 2 and 42 hundreds, and 2 and 423 thousands. Arrange them from least to greatest. What will be the correct arrangement?
Very good. The correct arrangement from least to greatest is 2 and 42 hundredths, 2 and 423 thousandths, 2 and 5 tenths, and 2 and 512 thousandths. How about the other one? Arrange it or arrange them from greatest to least this time. What will be the correct arrangement? Good job! The correct arrangement from greatest to least are 11 and 5 hundreds, 10 and 15 hundreds, 1 and 105 thousands, and 1 and 15 thousands. So in comparing and ordering decimals, we have to remember the following. Line up decimals. Write equivalent decimals if necessary. Begin at the left. Compare and find the place where the digits are different. Compare the digits. Order the decimals if there are three or more given decimals from least to greatest or from greatest to least. In ordering decimals, again, line them up vertically so that their decimal points are exactly one above the other. If a number does not have a decimal point, we place the decimal at the end. Zeros are added to the right of the decimal number so that all them all of them have the same number of the decimal of decimal places. Fill in the empty squares with zeros. The decimal digits or the digits with the same place value are compared starting from left in all the numbers. If the digits are equal, move to the next column to the right until one number wins. The number with the bigger digit in the same place value decides the bigger number. Let's proceed now to the next topic. The objective for the next topic is adds and subtracts decimals through thousands with and without regrouping. Let us review some terms again. Addition. It is the process of putting together. Example, 8 plus 3 equals 11. The keywords for addition are add, sum, total, plus, increase, all together, in all, deposit, and gain. Subtraction is a taking away process. Example, 12 minus 5 equals 7. The keywords for subtraction are minus, subtract, take away, left, difference, decrease, change, lost, remain, retain, withdraw. Let us have now the first example. Rainfall for two days was measured as 7 and 30 hundreds inches and 8 and 65 hundreds inches at the city park. What was the total rainfall measured over the two days? How do we solve the, the problem? What operation are we going to use to solve the problem? Yes, we will use addition because of the clue here, word total. Arrange the numbers in column. Line up the decimal point. So 7 and 30 hundreds and 8 and 65 hundreds. So they are now in column. The ones are in column, the tens, and the hundreds. The decimal point are also lined up. Next, add the numbers from right to left. So let us add them now. So 0 plus 5 equals 5. Zero, 3 plus 6 equals 9. 
7 plus 8 equals 15. Then, after adding the numbers, place the decimal point in the sum. So, ayan na yung decimal point and all the decimals are now lined up to. Let's have another example. 5 and 63 thousands plus 4 and 781 thousands. First, arrange the numbers in column, lined up the decimal point. So, let us arrange them. So, they are now in proper column. And the decimals are also lined up. Next, add the numbers from right to left. So, let us add the numbers. So, six, 3 plus 1 equals 4. 6 plus 8 equals 14. So, they group 1 and then write 4 under the hundreds place. So, we will add now the numbers in the tens place. 1 plus 0 plus 7 equals 8. And then the ones, 5 plus 4 equals 9. So, after adding the number, place the decimal point in the sum. So, the decimals are also lined up. Let's now have an example about subtraction of decimal. What is the difference between 8 and 6 hundredths and 8 and 19 thousandths? What are we going to do to find the answer? Yes, subtract. 8 and 6 hundredths minus 8 and 19 thousandths. How are we going to subtract decimals? So let us do it step by step. So first, arrange the numbers in column. Align the decimal point. So arrange. Okay. The ones are now lined in column. Then the tens, the hundreds, and thousands. And also the decimal point. The decimals in the problem do not have the same number of decimal digits. Oo, kasi ito dalawa lang ang decimal digits niya. Write an extra zero to the right of the last digit in the first decimal so that both decimals have the same number of decimal digit. So, ganito ang gagawin natin ngayon. Magdadagdag tayo ng zero. Next, start on the right and subtract each column in turn. Subtract digits in the same place value position. So, subtract natin. 0 minus 9 cannot be. If the digit you are subtracting is bigger than the digits you are subtracting from, regroup the column to the left. So, since 9 is greater than 0, we regroup natin tong 6. So, 6 now will become 5 hundredths and 10 thousandths. Now, we can subtract. 10 minus 9 equals 1. 5 minus 1 equals 4. 0 minus 0 equals 0. 8 minus 8 equals 0. Then, place the decimal point in the difference. Okay. So, it means the difference is 0 or 4 thousands. So, the difference is 41 thousands. Another example, 7 and 876 thousands minus 4 and 653 thousands. Again, arrange the numbers in column, align the decimal point. 7 and 876 thousands minus 4 and 653 thousands. So, naka-align na sila. Then, subtract the numbers from right to left. So, subtract natin. 6 minus 3 equals 3. 7 minus 5 equals 2. 8 minus 6 equals 2. And 7 minus 4 equals 3. And then, place the decimal point in the difference. 
So, our answer is 3 and 223 thousands. So, in adding and subtracting decimals, follow these steps. Arrange the numbers in column. Align the decimal points. Use zero as placeholder if needed. Add or subtract as you would add whole numbers from right to left. Place a decimal point in the sum or difference. Align this with the other decimal points. So that's all. Thank you mga mandunong kids sa pakikinig. Nawa, may natutunan kayo sa ating advanced lesson for this week. Muli, ako si Mrs. Janet Manuel, ang inyong math buddy for this week. Bye-bye and God bless us all. Thank you!